Oh, this is a quarantine thing? Isn't this where we have to go? Is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I think this might you be where we have to go for the uh I'm doing you a favor for the main mission. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Unfortunate. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Oh, well, now, that's let me fortunate. get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. That is very fortunate considering my team is two humans with me. I wonder what happens if you get here and you've brought along, you know, a non-human companion. They just not get to go with you? So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. Who do you work for? I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. Well, I'm going in. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Uh, talk to me. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? I wonder what happens if you say these two. I'm guessing he's going to let me in from the Paraga Paragon or Renegade options, but I wonder how else you'd get in if you say it said one of these and it fails. Tell me more about this play. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. <laughs> it affects multiple species, Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha. Count them. Why would you Mayor not count them? Disease that takes down multiple races. Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang. <laughs> They're me, the but district. blue. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. Plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Oh. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Uh-oh. Is that everything? That's everything. Welp! I'm going in. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Head <laughs> lost. <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Yeah, he just said that. Well done. <laughs> Glad you've got your listening ears equipped. Oh! We can bring this dude? Huh. That's weird. I didn't think it would let us, like, re-choose our squad here, because we're not on the Normandy, obviously. I feel like I don't know anything about that guy yet, though. Aside from the fact that he enjoyed kicking that dude in the face, which I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should stick with these guys for the first mission. And then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll switch it up after that, I guess. But 
yeah, just because like I I spoke to him for five seconds and <laughs> I don't know, it would it would feel weird to suddenly be bringing him along on this. I don't know. We'll stick with these two for now. Uh, we haven't got another level up, so this is all the same, right? Yeah. Okay. Sun's out, gun's out. Uh, right, we got our charge. Incendiary ammo. Definitely want to be putting that on, people have been saying. On, like, everything. That's apparently a good thing to do at the start of every mission, is just turn it on. And so I shall. Wait, why can't I bring that out? Oh. I wasn't pressing A, apparently. Oh, this doesn't get that. This is the heavy weapon, right, okay. So. We want a shotgun. Why is our charge? You've got overload on the left, which is for shields. Uh, we've also got warp, which is good against armor and barriers. You've got incendiary ammo. You should use that. Uh, and you've got pull right on the D-pad. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes then. Uh, what's the map looking like? Oh. Oh, there is no proper map. Okay. Refined element zero. Don't mind if I do. Keep forgetting I don't have, like, infinite shotgun ammo anymore. Don't shoot. They're cleared to come in. Hi. What's the, uh... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, what's the melee button in this game? There it is. Give him a give him a punch. Could come in handy. Yeah, don't shoot me, you fuck. Lovely jubbly. Can we chat to any of you from this side? Not. No, not. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vorture shooting anything that moves. Well, I want to be moving so fast they don't see me. Are they two of the bad guys, or we've been spotted? Yup. Surprise. Where did the other guy go? Oh, there he is. Hello. Yeah, that that worked. I guess they just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. That certainly worked. Hack the bank terminal. Don't mind if I do. Oh, is this different? Find matching code segments. Locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes. Find all matches before time runs out. And it says at the bottom, three attempts remaining. Uh, okay. Oh god, what the fuck? Uh... Oh, no! I... Oh. Wait, what? I didn't click that one. Huh? Oh, right, this is... Wait, still three attempts remaining? Did I just use an attempt? Is it that you don't have to click a red one? It's just if you hover over a red one, you fail? I saw I saw the correct one, but and I was trying to move up to click it, but it just started scrolling off the screen, and it wouldn't let me go up far enough. Okay, I think I get it now, though. So we're looking for centered blue, slightly to the right orange, bottom right blue. Like that. Oh, it's gone off the screen again. God damn it. I saw it. Oh, God, there's one on the right as well. I keep seeing it and not being able to get it. There it is. There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. This one? Okay, cool. Uh, and this one. Well, that was easy. 
It was literally one after the other. Okay, that one is definitely more complicated than the fucking, uh, the, what you call it? The computer board thing, whatever you call it. Why has that word left my head? Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Yeah, but what if I told you this wasn't us? Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. I feel like it could well be a frame job. The Vorcha make the virus. They are immune to all virus anyway, so... It's not like sus that they're immune to this one. And then they make us immune to it so that we have the sus thrown on us. <laughs> I need to find Morton Solvus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> Alright. I hope you... I hope... Damn it. Damn you. Damn. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Almost missed that. Help me. Why? Because I'm not a fucking dickhead? <laughs> it's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm going to try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Yeah, this is my logical conclusion. Maybe it's the Vorcha. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> a human created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? But to throw that sus. The Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. Ah. They're scavengers. Well, that throws a wrench in those plans. Sorry, human. All those ideas. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. Offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Uh, how is he dangerous? What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. That sounds like a lad. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people. And display the bodies as a warning. Well, he was on that task force, right? So, he's like, I'm here to help, but don't fuck with me. You were talking about Borcha earlier? Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelmed them. Is this going to be the same as the previous one? Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? No, this is different. Vorcha are immune to disease. Wait, no, this is the same. It's <laughs> slightly different. Besides, sorry, human. Yeah, okay. You may not want to uh, I'm going to redo the Morden option because there was, a, there was a thing in the top left which I didn't click because it sounded like it might end the conversation, but... I need to find more yeah, I was afraid to go to him before. I'll send someone to help you. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. 
If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. You're welcome, man. I die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Wait, did we do the How Is He Dangerous one? What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The blue sun. Oh, yeah, yeah, is that was that. <laughs> not just a doctor. I should go. I should go. I can't believe they kept I should go in. <laughs> Cool. That was good. Helped see, helped that dude see that humans aren't all bad by helping him out with the medigel. Uh, right, one of these. Okie doke. Probably this. Shit. Nope, not that. Let's try again. <laughs> I wish there was uh I wish there was a map. You had a map for every mission in uh in Mass Effect 1. It feels weird that there's not one here. Sounds like the plague's got you, mate. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look like the face of someone who's sleeping. Guess I'll take your cash. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for letting me have it. Nice little canteen. Hello. Oh. Alright. I see how it is. Sure. Let's play it like that, shall we? Uh. Wait, that's the wrong menu. Well, actually, I mean, I could just... Boom! God, I love that. God, that's amazing. That is so good. Can't target them. Oh shit, that's fun. Now what's this? Ooh, assault rifle damage up. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that is so fun. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that. Okay, now let's have a little search around, see if we missed anything. There's a way to go over that way. This is why I want a map, so that I can maybe tell what the way to go is. Uh, did we get a level? No. Feels like leveling's a lot slower in this game. Wait, what's in my... Oh, is it a new assignment? Oh, yeah, that. Feels like leveling is a lot slower in this game than in 1. Because early on in 1, I was just getting levels out the ass. But I guess there was a lot more things to do in 1 in terms of leveling. Whereas it seems like it's way less in this game. Doop doop. Nice few apartments. Hello. Oh, thank God you're human. 
we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. What's that? Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Uh, why are they after you? Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases. I'm so feeling like the Vorcha are the dickhead. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. I mean, even if the Vorcha themselves aren't smart enough, they could always just get someone else to, right? You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? I'm trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Airborne, right? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Ah, oh, good old protection fees. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. Alright. Uh, that was it. Yep, yeah. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You don't trust him? Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. <laughs> Must be Solarian special forces. Yeah, or he is. I think you should go visit. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Don't worry, I'm clearing Besides, the streets. I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I'll help you. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky. But I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Maybe. Cool. Anything else to say? Make sure you clear a good path for us. <laughs> I don't want to get shot on the way to Morden's clinic. Yeah, I imagine most people like not getting shot. Oh, can I... Do you mind if I take your shit? Appreciate it. Is it always four grand? I feel like it's been four grand every time we've clicked that. Guess we don't need any more medigel if that turned into credits. Cool, cool. Looks like that's everything. Man, I am such a big fan of charge. I am a huge fan of charge. Right, so there's a way to go here. I feel like this is going to be the way to actually go. So I kind of want to check the stairs over here. Because I feel like by going that way, 
you're forced into the fight, and I feel like they would force you to fight before progressing, so if, if it's this way, then you wouldn't have had to fight. So I feel like this is a side thing, you know? Indeed. Just a medkit. AKA credits. That's it. Okay. Oh wait. Circuit boards. Hello. A thousand credits. I so nearly missed that. I saw this. I was turning just out the corner of my eye. I noticed that. Okay. Very, very glad I did. down here then. Oh boy, which way now? My kingdom for a map, honestly. Okay, let's let them fight it out and see what's up here. Just a way to get the drop on them, I guess. What the fuck is that? Varen. Oh! Oh! <laughs> can I get them all the way from over here? Sure can. Oh, what a fucking... Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm super dead. I am super dead. Okay. Note to self. Cannot do that. Note to self. Do not charge into groups. They just fucked me. They just did me dirty. With a big pile of dick. Okay, that's too far away for that. Is this... There we go, got him. Wait, did it just... It just swapped to my pistol? What the fuck? I didn't swap to my pistol. That was weird. I literally didn't click anything. Wait. Am I going fucking insane? I thought I tested this pistol before. And it didn't have... I must, I must have clicked the shotgun by accident, I guess. Because I could have sworn I tested the pistol before and it did not have a big... What the fuck? It did not have a small crosshair, rather. It was like a really big crosshair. This pyro. Oh my god. Okay. Fucking just burst into red mist. Yikes. Hello. I just realized that red hit markers mean headshot. Red hit markers don't mean they've died from that shot. Oh, got a crow gun. Yo, okay. Wait, he's got armor. Is this bad against armor? I don't remember. Uh, no, this is good against armor. Nice. Oh, shit. He's coming up. So we better get this party started. Or is he? Ah, we're good. We're good. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Good thing that I did not charge down there. That would have gone badly, huh? Real good thing that I made the sensible decision to stay back here. Moving on its way. Moving to target. Got a line. Coming our way. I I've told him to use his. Okay. I I kept pressing right on the D-pad there. I don't know if he did. He just not have his powers or something? Because that is mapped, right? Yeah. His armor was gone, and I kept pressing right on the D-pad to fucking yeet that Krogan. And it just never happened. So I don't know if he just 
didn't have his power available. Maybe it was on cooldown, but the cooldowns are pretty short, so I don't know. Curious. Whatever. Uh, enjoy that. Here we go. Easy enough. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. All right, that was the biggest fight we've had in the game by far. Even in terms of like enemies killed, that might have even been bigger than like most fights in ME1. Aside from like going up the side of the Citadel at the end or something. I feel like that is one of the bigger fights we've ever had in Mass Effect. That was a solid like 15 enemies or something. Anything around here? Hello, refined element zero. Don't mind if I diddly do. Hey, 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 back off. We got here first. You want to talk? Let's talk. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? Eh, better nobody. No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? Someone will. This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Uh-oh! Some dead Tyrion's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted I thought to he was about to open fire crash. on me, then. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Fuck me. I, I, I was gripping my controller thinking we're about to go into combat when we've just witnessed them loot. And then he goes, there won't be any witnesses around to tell them. Sounds like a fucking threat. But I guess he did not mean it like that. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voidcher. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. A wise move. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. I'll be sure to do that. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcher finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. I'm really liking the sound of this Morden dude before even having met him. <laughs> like, he's patching people up for free, so he's a good dude, but takes no shit. Someone tries to steal from him, they're gonna take a bullet instead. <laughs> we need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Good. Glad you understand English. Anything else around here for us to loot? Ayo! It's Mr. Hypocrite. It's different when we do it though, because we are uh, a spectre. And that makes it all okay. Trust me. Trust me. Guess these guys got the dick. Anything past here? No. 
all righty. Hearing a lot of coughing. Can't go through there. Okay, I am thinking that this is a good place to pop a save. And uh, then it is codex time. We have a whole bunch of primary codex to read. We did the secondary codex at the end of the previous session. So, let's have a listen. I assume these are all voiced like before. Non-Council Races Collectors. Living beyond the Omega-4 mass relay in the Terminus systems, the mysterious collector species is glimpsed so rarely as to be taken for a myth by most in galactic society. In reality, collectors are human-sized insectoid bipeds and can resemble massive winged beetles. They are a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Collectors generate permanent stasis fields around themselves, creating nightmarish red-shifted energy fields. Interesting. In battle, they hold position whenever possible, relying on their aggressive biotics and nearly limitless power. Several types of bipedal collectors have been identified, including minions, defenders, zealots, assassins, and artillery operators. Acting together, collectors have imprisoned entire cities in stasis. While no definite forensic accounting exists to explain the fate of those imprisoned, leading speculation is that victims are harvested for scientific experimentation and neurobiological repurposing. That sounds like it's going to be very hard to actually shoot any of them then. If they create permanent stasis fields around their bodies, and stasis is the thing that stops things dead in its tracks, right? So you shoot it, the bullet hits the stasis field, and I assume stops dead? So I wonder how you fight them. Also, that's our first proper look at a collector, because we saw the CCTV footage, but that was, you know, fucked and far away and blurry and stuff. Get a load of that. That is a cool-ass design. I love it. That is very cool. Okay, what is the other one in here? Oh, uh, Vorcha, nice. Although they resemble These things, a right. reptile cross, yeah. the Vorcha have no terrestrial analog. They are humanoid in form, but Vorcha have clusters of non-differentiated neoblast cells, like those of Earth's planarian worms. Damaged Vorcha cells mature into specialized structures to alleviate injury or stress. Transformations include thicker skin following injury, lung adaptation for barely breathable atmospheres, and stronger cardioskeletal muscle under high gravity. Skull capacity and brain size do not change. Vorcha rarely make more than one somatic overhaul. Vorcha assault each other frequently, causing their young to gain strength, intelligence, and resilience. As a result, Vorcha see inflicting and receiving pain as normal communication. <laughs> a few Vorcha study professions, in part because their average life expectancy is only 20 years. 20? Because Vorcha can Fuck eat me. and breathe nearly anything, they can live almost anywhere. But racism prevents them from integrating into most societies that dismiss them as vermin. Oof. They have few employment options beyond Krogan mercenary bands. Twenty. Christ. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? If your life expectancy was twenty years. I wonder how fast they mature. Because, like, obviously for us, humans, when you hit twenty, you're barely out of being a child. But, like... Other species, like Asari, who live for, what was it, like a thousand or multiple thousands of years or something? You hit a hundred and you're still considered a child. So, I wonder if these guys, like, mature up to what we would consider adulthood in, like, five years? Or what? Because goddamn. That is, that is, that is nuts. That is crazy short. Uh, Humanity and the Systems Alliance. A political economic pact for collective colonial security. The Alliance is the central galactic institution of human society. The Alliance gained associate membership to the Citadel Council in 2165 and full membership in 2183 with Ambassador David Anderson representing humanity. Human political economic relationships vary between combative and lucrative. The Turians, who'd fought humans during the 2157 First Contact War, have become valuable trade partners, despite residual social hostility. Other relationships are even more complicated. 
the rapid rise of human political influence on the council, achieving in decades what others waited or are still waiting centuries to acquire, has galvanized suspicion and resentment against humanity. That negativity is vastly outweighed by the respect and trust humanity earned by saving the council during the 2183 attack on the Citadel. At the cost of Alliance cruisers, Cairo, Cape Town, Emden, Jakarta, Madrid, Seoul, Shenyang, and Warsaw, and their 2400 crew. That's interesting, because that is a, like, a codex entry that could be different if we'd made a different choice. I did not realize codex entries could be like that, but that is clearly one that would be different, it would be like. <laughs> uh, that negativity is compounded by the fact that you let the council die, <laughs> kind of thing. So, that's, uh, that's very interesting. Cool, cool. Organizations, we did the Cerberus one, now the Elusive Man. The reclusive tycoon calling himself the Elusive Man is a human nationalist focused on advancing human interests, whatever the cost to non-humans. You hate to see it. The Citadel Council regards him as a fanatic, posing a serious threat to galactic security. A mysterious maverick, to say the least, the Elusive Man heads the Cerberus network. Dubbed the Elusive Empire by investigators, Cerberus is an allegedly untraceable syndicate of private intelligence agencies, biotics laboratories, engineering and scientific research teams, and lucrative front companies. Branded a terrorist and seditionist organization by authorities, Cerberus is the only human power base other than the Terra Firma party, strong enough to embarrass, if not threaten, the Council and its human representatives. Yeah, that, that first bit is where the issue is. Focused on advancing human interests, that's fine. Whatever the cost to non-humans, that ain't fine. That's the bit that makes you go from a, a decent person to a twat. So, definitely not on board with the elusive man. Free uh, did we already listen to this one? Colony was once no, a I don't think we did. Settlement. But following complete communications blackout and its apparent destruction, is now a lightning rod for anxiety and dread in the galactic human community. The communications blackout followed an upgrade of the colony's small military force, supplemented by mechs and security drones, with high-powered tower-mounted guardian lasers. Colonists complained about construction cost overruns, delays, noise, and damage to the local environment. They also feared the defense array could be seen as provocative to their world's neighbors. Such fears may not have been baseless, Authorities have still offered no explanation for the communications blackout, fueling rumors of plagues, natural disasters, or a cult-inspired mass suicide. <laughs> Located in strategically insignificant space, Freedom's Progress Colony had once offered residents spectacular rainbows, lush marshlands, and stunning mountain ranges. Its potential as an agricultural settlement and tourism wonderland rivaled that of any Alliance colony. And Omega? Originally an asteroid rich in element zero, Omega was briefly mined by the Protheans, who eventually abandoned it due to its thick, impenetrable crust. Thousands of years later, nature did what even the Protheans could not. A collision with another asteroid broke Omega in half, exposing its trove of element zero for easy mining. A rush ensued as corporations and private individuals tried to strike it rich on Omega, and thieves and outlaws followed in their wake. As space became tight, construction of processing facilities extended vertically from the asteroid, creating Omega's jellyfish-like silhouette. To prevent future collisions, the station is ringed with enormous mass effect field generators that redirect incoming debris. Today, Omega is a major hub of narcotics, weapons, and EZO trafficking, without even a pretense of civilian government or military control. Only mercenary groups have been able to instill a limited order. The most ruthless is an Asari syndicate run by the notorious Arya Talok. Cool, cool. Ships and vehicles. The Systems Alliance space vehicle Normandy is a prototype starship. Wait, we probably heard this one in ME1, right? Venture. A frigate, optimized for reconnaissance missions, the vessel uses state-of-the-art stealth technology. Let's Most move on to two, because I'm pretty sure we heard one Cerberus in one. labored for years to build a new, superior Normandy. The vehicle's many alterations produced a craft nearly double the original size. 
requiring an even larger Tantalus Drive core to compensate. The new Normandy features greater space in living quarters, research laboratory, observation deck, and cargo bay. Its shuttle can make landings the Normandy cannot attempt. In addition to tight beam communicators, Normandy's quantum entanglement communicator, QEC, provides instantaneous contact with the elusive man. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence, AI, coordinates many of the ship's combat functions, assisting and even supplanting human piloting. Potential upgrades are numerous. The airframe could support additional armor and an axial mass accelerator. The thrusters could support recent advances in fuel technology beyond H2O2 chemical rockets. And the hull can mount double the standard number of kinetic barrier projectors, leaving space for stronger shields, easily sustainable via the new EZO drive core. Nice, nice. The with Just looking at the difference the between the, the two pictures. With the this with the this with the with the with the Yeah. I think I like the look of the new one more. With I mean obviously they're pretty similar, but with I do think the second one clinches it. The Systems Alliance UT-47 drop shuttle landing craft holds 12 soldiers in a cramped, uncomfortable cargo bay and two more in the cockpit. Officially named the Kodiak, the drop shuttle is better known to Alliance Marines as the Combat Cockroach. Due to its Love the nice combat cock. The vehicle's robust environmental sealant technology exposes few vulnerable parts to the elements. First tested in the sulfuric acid clouds and extreme temperatures of Venus, the Kodiak can land in hard vacuum, high pressure, and temperatures from near absolute zero to over 900 degrees Celsius. A true contragravitic vehicle, the Kodiak's substantial element zero core allows flight by entirely countering the vehicle's mass. Its small thrusters are for directional control only. So if the mass effect field fails, vehicle becomes a proverbial three million credit coffin. <laughs> the unarmed shuttle forgoes weaponry space for active masking, electronic countermeasures, and a robust kinetic barrier system, ideal for dropping troops undetected. Nice, nice. All righty. That is everything there. Did we get any new secondary ones since then? There are a couple of secondary ones. We'll leave them for another time. Just focus on the primary ones today. And that is where we will leave it for now. Oh, I was going to spin the camera around to look at Shepard, but we got... Can I put the gun away? All targets eliminated. There we go. <laughs> now we can look at Shepard. Because when you've got the gun out, the camera spins with you. But when you don't, it doesn't. So, Or you spin with the camera, rather. Words. They're pretty hard. Cool. Okay. This is going well. Really enjoying the charge. Really not enjoying charging into entire groups. That leads to instant death. You hate to see that. Uh, so, yes. When when situation allows, charge in with the shotgun. When situation doesn't allow, stay back and plink, plink, plonk. And I need to get better at using uh, squad mate uh, powers as well. Although, I did try once with the uh, pull thing and it wasn't working. But he probably just already used it on his own and stuff. So, yeah. We will get better as that, at that as we go through. Uh, when we come back, we'll be heading on through this joint, going to find Morden and see what's going on there and maybe discover what's up with this plague. Uh, I'm curious if Morden maybe had a hand in it himself, is the, uh, is the vibe I've maybe got, but uh, we shall see. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 2. Thanks for watching, see you then.